Thomas here, and today we're doing a quick review on the CJ Extreme SDC pump. Does your high flow, fully Wi Fi controllable DC aquarium pump also have a temperature probe and send you alerts if the power goes out? <sighs> Crazy, right? Water circulation is vital not only for gas exchange and oxygenation, but also for coral health. It helps corals respirate, shed waste, and bring in needed nutrients. From simple soft corals to difficult SPS, getting the right amount of the right type of flow to your reef can make a massive difference to coral health, growth, and coloration. From the traditional laser beam focused powerheads of the past to the widespread massive yet gentle flow of propeller pumps or laminar sheet like flow of gyre pumps that most reefers use today, circulation pumps have made leaps and bounds over the years and we now have some of the most customizable tools for the job able to simulate even the most complex of ocean currents. Some pumps take the technology a step further, giving you access to modes and programs via a controller or even through wireless connectivity, so you can really dial in the pump into the specific needs of your reef. The Extreme is one of those pumps, plus it has some really well thought out built-in safety features, one of which I've never actually seen on an aquarium pump before. But I mean, it's not that big of a surprise. CJ is one of the biggest names in aquarium pumps. It's kind of their thing. Now, I'd love to make a reef pod, but uh, CJ's kind of already done that for me with their Extreme pump controlled by their app. Ha, <laughs> I see what you did there. In the box, you'll find the Xtreme SDC pump with magnetic mount, Wi-Fi ready Xtreme controller, the controller mounting bracket, some double-sided tape, the power supply, a cord protector, and a rubber vibration dampener. Once you get it all hooked up and in your tank, you'll want to download the control app and follow the instructions to get your Extreme SDC hooked up to the cloud. Yeah, the cloud, meaning you can actually adjust your pump from anywhere, anytime from a smartphone or tablet using their app. And it can also send you real-time notifications, which I'll touch on in a little bit. Really smart. The app gives you full control of the pump's flow range from 270 to 2,250 gallons per hour, offers preset programs like Pulse and Tide, as well as modes like Lagoon Ripple and Reef Crest, and the ability to sync pumps to run them together or in anti-sync. You can also build your own completely custom programs within the app to achieve just the right flow for your particular reef setup if you want to get geeky with it. The overall form factor of the Extreme is pretty small considering it also provides over 2,000 gallons per hour of flow, and the pump has an excellent range of motion for positioning and aiming the pump to direct the flow where you need it most. Which is excellent since many Wi-Fi controllable pumps have limited to no ability to be directed in any direction other than straight ahead, making the Extreme very useful when you need to get flow directed to a very specific spot in your tank. One really surprising feature is the built-in water temperature probe. The temp probe will give you the water temp reading in the app and also allow you to program high and low temp alerts so that you can be notified in real time if your temp starts to swing outside of your set range. A really interesting feature I would have expected in a water pump, and you're probably thinking the same thing I was, isn't the heat from the pump gonna throw off the reading of the temperature probe? Well, here's the thing. CJ pumps run with virtually no heat, meaning the probe shouldn't be picking up any heat from the pump. And CJ says that they placed it in a very specific spot so that any residual heat from the pump wouldn't even be detected by the probe. So you're getting an accurate reading. I personally think adding a temp probe to their pump was also a bit of a brag by CJ to prove their pumps don't transfer heat to the water. Speaking of safety, the pump will also send you real-time notifications if it detects that the impeller gets jammed or if it's running dry, and then also shut down the pump so that it doesn't get damaged. Not only that, but if the power goes out or it loses connection to the internet, it'll send you a notification to let you know the pump is not working. This is actually an incredible safety feature because if you do have a power outage at your house, the pump's gonna send you a notification saying it's disconnected and that could give you vital time to get back to your tank and take action before anything starts going really south, really fast. Really smart, CJ. Oh, it's also battery backup ready, meaning if you hook it up to a backup battery, it'll keep running after it sends you the notification to let you know everything was disconnected. So it still provides circulation while you run home to fix everything so you don't lose anything in your tank. The Extreme is one of the smallest flow pumps I've come across, but it does stick out further into the tank than some other pump options in its flow category. So if you want low profile and you're willing to pay more for it, you may prefer a puck format pump like the Nero or something like the Vortec, as long as you don't mind having the pump on the outside of the glass. 
The body of the pump also has ridges and crevices that might make it a bit trickier to clean, but if you like to give your pumps an acid bath come maintenance time, that shouldn't be a big deal. I will say that the pump is really quiet, quieter than other pumps I've used, which is really nice in an environment where you want to keep those decibels nice and low, like in a studio you record in, like this one. The CJ Extreme SDC is very feature rich for a $200 pump in the 2000 gallon per hour flow category with an incredible five year warranty, making it an excellent value. And sure, I'm willing to add yet another app to my aquarium apps folder for this pump. Before you drop any circulation pump into your tank, it's really important to understand what your corals need. You don't want to just put the pump in the tank, point it at your coral, and then gun it at 100%, unless your goal is to blow the flesh right off their bodies. Ryan has an excellent explanation right here of what your goals should be with water circulation, so check it out. Lots of good info.